In this example, we're given the maximum, uh, we're given the uh, velocity function here, and we need to determine the maximum acceleration in the given interval from 0 to 3 included. And we're giving answer choices that are possible, and we have to choose the right one. So first, what you want to do, you want to find the acceleration function by uh, differentiating the velocity function. So the acceleration function of t is the derivative of the velocity function, which just takes into account the power rule that you're going to use for every term. So 3 comes down, t power reduces by 1, right, this is the typical power rule. And then minus 3 multiplies the 2 that comes down and gives you 6. t re power reduces by 1, so it's just t to the first, plus 12, t to the first, 1 comes down, 12 doesn't change, t to the first uh, becomes t to the 0, so that goes away, it's just 1. 1 times 12 is 12, and then the derivative of the constant is 0. So now what you want to do, you want to check or determine critical points for the t, right? Critical t values, because of those t values, you will check whether the particle reaches its maximum acceleration. Okay, so the first two critical values are known. These are the endpoints, 0 or t. Uh, 0 or 3, but also one more critical point will be derived from you finding the slope formula of this and setting that slope to 0, basically the derivative of the acceleration, one more derivative, and that will tell you where the acceleration changes, right? Because that will be uh, a candidate for the maximum value, right? So the t value that we find, the third t value besides the endpoints, endpoints will be a possible third critical value at which the acceleration function may reach its maximum. Right? So basically what we're talking about is that this maximum can be the derivative t value that gives you the derivative of 0. But it could be the end points as well, 0 or 3. So we have to check that. So let's find the derivative of the acceleration function. Then we can set that to 0. Taking this again, we'll, we'll, 2 comes down to multiply by 3. That gives you 6 t power reduces by 1, and then minus 6, right? t to the first uh, just becomes t to the 0, which is just 1. All right, so now setting 0 equal to 6t minus 6. You solve for t. That's fairly easy. Just, um, you know, add 6 on both sides. You should get uh, 6t is equal to 6. Now divide both sides by, of course, 6, and that gives you the critical, possible critical uh, well, critical t value that gives you 1. All right, so now you're going to be checking at three critical values the um, acceleration function that we found, and then you're going to see which one gives you the maximum acceleration. So first we're going to start from smallest to largest, so we're going to start from t is equal to 0, then we're going to check t is equal to 1, the second critical value, and then the third is the second endpoint in that given interval. So t is equal to 0, we're just going to plug this t into the uh, acceleration function that we found. So that's going to be uh, 3, 0 squared, minus 6 times 0, plus 12. Now let's plug this guy in while we can, minus 6 times 1 plus 12. And this one's going to be 3 squared, right? So plugging in 3 here. So let's see which one gives us the maximum. This gives us 12 because both of these guys are 0. Uh, this gives you 3 minus 6 plus 12. So that, that gives you um, 6 plus 3, that's 9. Okay, so so far this guy wins. He's the maximum so far. Let's check the third one. That gives you 27. That's like 3 cubed minus 18 plus... 12. And that gives you 39 minus 18, which is equal to 21. So as you can see, even though we did the work of finding the derivative, that does not guarantee you automatically that if you set that to zero, then your t will be responsible for the maximum. It may not be. Um, as you can see, the endpoint wins. The endpoint at t is equal to 3 gives you the maximum value and not the derivative critical value of 1 that you found for the t. So make sure that you check the endpoints besides using the derivative function whenever you're given a question like this.
Okay, so the correct answer in this case is 21. That's going to be the maximum acceleration attained on the interval from 0 to 3 inclusive. Thank you so much for watching. Hope this was helpful. See you in the next video.